Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today, I got for you something ridiculous. We are going to be doing a spiritual successor challenge to a video I made a long time ago, which was the no entering the house challenge on Tanglewood. Now, ever since I made that video, people have been asking me to do this same thing over and over and over again, but I thought it would just pretty much be the exact same video again. And that was just such an awesome moment that I didn't want to just make the same video again. However, there is now something so ridiculous you can do on Tanglewood, which basically allows you to do a complete no key challenge, which I thought would be a perfect way to revisit this ridiculous idea of a super strange challenge. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be weird. I really hope you join me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. We are loading into the truck. However, this key is not going to leave the table. That is what I would have said if I was not going to pick up the key at all, which you can. You can do this challenge without ever picking up the key. However, I'm going to pick it up just because I want to end this challenge. If you don't pick up the key, you will never be able to stop it without just alter fouring or leaving. So the only reason why I'm picking it up now is just so we can end this challenge properly and see the stats afterwards. That's the only reason you could do the same thing without ever picking this up. So it is a true no key challenge. The only reason why is just so we can end it properly without leaving. But we are going to be able we are going to get the ghost without ever unlocking the door. So yeah, that's why I'm picking it up. That out of the way, uh we are going to bring in all the items into the house because you can throw them through the door and then we're never going to touch the door and we're going to see what happens. It's going to be awesome. Uh we got ourselves David Williams. We need to do motion sensor, smudge sticks, and a photo of the ghost. We might even be able to do some of that. Who knows? All right, let's uh, set this up. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think I need anything else. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, we brought the items into the house. And now for the challenge to begin. So, we have... The doors is locked. However, there's another way into the house. This has been brought into the game after they reduced the hitbox of your character when you crouch. Now, when you crouch, there's a very sneaky thing you can do. You can go over here, and then, and now, now I'm, now I'm in Tanglewood without having the key. <laughs> so I'm inside the house, and I didn't unlock the door. The door's still locked, and I'm not never unlocking this door. <laughs> we are gonna try and figure out this ghost with no key. <laughs> so that's the idea. Uh, I, that's why I threw some items in here because we obviously won't be able to leave. Uh, where's my can? Where's my or my? Wait, I did bring in a a flashlight, right? There were three there. I must have one. Where is it? Where my flashlight? Oh, there it is. Okay. Good stuff. We... What are we gonna even walk... Okay, I know. So, in case you're unfamiliar with the initial part of the game, at this moment, the game thinks I'm still in the truck and the ghost doesn't even exist. However, there are a few things you can still do while the ghost basically doesn't exist. You can still get a certain amount of evidence, which is exactly what we're gonna try and do. So, we don't know where this ghost is, and it's probably never going to make a noise. If you ever wanted to walk around Tanglewood without a ghost, this is your way to do it. You can just chill. Wait. You can chill, you can hang out in Tanglewood without a ghost ever being able to kill you or do any interactions. If you want to live in Tanglewood, if you've always wanted to do that, then this is how to do it. Uh, you can enter the house, we can turn on the lights, we can watch TV, we can sit down and chill, and no ghost will ever disturb us. Now... Uh, there are, however, a few pieces of evidence, such as orbs, that will show up no matter if the ghost is even activated or not. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna try and find the ghost. Hopefully, it has orbs. If not orbs, I have a backup, a few backup plans. But, oh, there's a bone, too! <laughs> you can pick up the bone, obviously. We can take a photo of that and everything. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try and find orbs, first off. And then if not orbs, we have some other plans, but let's see. Maybe we have an orb ghost that would be very useful. 
Because if it's not orbs, it's going to be a little harder, but still possible. It's just a really, really stupid, stupid challenge. As I said, you you shined up. You wanted you wanted more no enter the house. Well, what about no having a key challenge, huh? <gasps> no, there's actually orbs. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's orbs. We got him. It's right here in the foyer. <laughs> what? What if you entered your house and there were ghost orbs? <laughs> well. And just like that, we got our first piece of evidence without a key. Go figure. Now, uh, there's a few other things you can do. So, might it, can it be a spear box? Yes. Uh, a really interesting thing about the spear box is that I won't be able to use it right now. I can try, I think. Where are you? How old are you? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Are you French? So, the game actually has a built-in prevention system to to prevent you from getting a lot of the evidence before you open the door and you activate the ghost. However, oh wait, the lights are off. But that still doesn't matter because it didn't detect my voice, right? Where are you? See the X, the X should mark, the X should go light up. Where are you? How old are you? But it's not, it's not hearing me because the voice, the voice recognition is not activated yet. The voice recognition activates as soon as you open the door. Where are you? How old are you? Are you French? So this doesn't work. However, there is also a like backup system for spirit box that will activate the spirit box after a certain amount of time. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> That's what so the spirit box will eventually go off if you have it in the ghost room and you're not talking to it. And that system is not disabled when you don't unlock the door. So we just got our second piece of evidence Yes, I know, I know, I know, you're young. Okay, <laughs> without even getting the ghost to spawn in. <laughs> so we are now down to three, three ghosts, which one of these is dots, and that is another one you can get. So maybe it's gonna be a dots ghost. Let's place the dots, because you can also get dots before you activate the ghost for some reason. I don't know why, did I only bring one dots? I only really need one dots, but yeah. We'll put it in the middle here. Now, the nice part about this game, if you've ever wanted to deal with a ghost that doesn't roam, this ghost is literally stuck. It's standing somewhere. We don't know where exactly. Um, we will be able to potentially figure it out by using salt because you can place salt under the ghost feet. If you guess where the ghost is standing and you place salt there, um, you will you will get you will get the the the, the it to step in the salt right away. Let's see if there's dots. Maybe there's dots. Maybe there isn't. We can turn on some lights because we don't necessarily need it to be dark for the dots. Now, if there's no dots, then we also... That's also information because then there's only two more ghosts. I think last time we did this... Well, I'm not going to spoil the last time because if you want to watch the last time we did something crazy like this with the no enter the house challenge, you can watch that video. It's one of my most watched videos of all time, actually. Um, but yeah, is there going to be dots? I don't think so because dots is actually supposed to happen every... 15 to 30 seconds, it will forcefully show up dots. And that's the system that is helping you here. It will force dots to happen every 15 to 30 seconds is to go if the ghost is in the room with the dot sensor. Oh, there are dots! No way! There are dots! <laughs> are you fucking joking? I just solved the game in like five minutes without even getting the key. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Well, that was uh, easy. Oh, wait, I have another dots here. I was holding it. Well, if you ever wanted to have an easy challenge, here you go. Now, we're not done here. We're going to try and complete this as close to possible, as close to we can get as possible. We're going to, maybe we can get motion sensors. We can definitely get this. Let's try. Let's smudge. We're going to smudge and then throw it there. And then boom, we got an objective. Now, photo of the ghost is going to be impossible because the ghost is just... The ghost is basically like, like standing still, just doing absolutely nothing. It can't give EMF. There will be zero interactions when we leave, unless it does something while I load out, out of the game. Uh, but yeah, uh, we might be able to get motion sensor. I'm not sure. What if I place the motion sensor right on top of the ghost somehow? I'm not sure. I don't know where it is, obviously. But what if we just get lucky? Will that be possible? I'm not sure. What can we use? Paramike, maybe?
I wonder. I wonder what you can do without the ghost being active at all. I can't believe it actually... Oh. Wait. 0 0.4. Right there in front of me. Wait. I'm going to stand still. No touching. Because if it's dead sight, we can start placing some salt. Now, the salt, we only have six tries to get it. Uh, that might give us some photos. It's actually a yokai, yes. Oh. Wait, it blinked the lights! That's a thing it can do without even being here? Like, the door is still locked, by the way. And that's when you activate the ghost. That's when the game starts. That's when the timer of, like, um, how long you've been in the house starts. I wonder if we're going to be longer in the ghost room than we're going to be in the house. I wonder what the end stats are going to look like. It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> that would be so dumb. Okay, uh, nothing there. Hmm, I did that, of course. I, is it here? What are we thinking? I just, uh, it's gonna give, yeah, it's gonna give an EMF. Hey, Cyclone, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Wait, it's still give 2.3 after a while. I guess that's just, we are doing something ridiculously stupid. Let me see. Can we get, can we get an indication of where in this room? Maybe there? Maybe there? 0.2? I'm just gonna hold it still. And try and fight. Because we only have so many tries with the salt, right? We could also just go chill and watch some television. But I think I didn't pay the cable. So we're gonna have only the test screen. Sadly. Yeah. If you've ever wanted to live in Tanglewood, this is your chance. I think the, yeah, the, the motion sensor actually gives a reading on the paramite. If it goes off. This is, this is so dumb. <laughs> this is, I can't believe we got all three evidences. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. Um, will we just try? Shall we just try with salt? Where should we... Oh, that's again. Where should we place it? Where would it be standing? If I was a ghost, wh where would it spawn? Would it spawn in the middle of the room? Like in the middle? You can place motions on the floor, yeah. How would just that help us, though? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, like... Maybe we'll just try it here. It's It dimmed this light, so it must be around this light switch, but that is still, like... It could still be, like, in a huge circle here. I'm just gonna place it here. Let's see. That probably won't work. Next to the closets. Closet. Ah! Let's try it here. Fuck! Okay. Well, uh, we got three more. Are we just gonna go through this? Or shall we try the middle here? Let's try the middle. The other closet? We'll try the other closet as well. But we'll try the middle? Okay. Didn't work. Other closet? It's working! We got the salt! Are you fucking joking? We're not getting feet though, are we? Wait, 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 wait. We're not getting feet. Yeah, you can't get feet actually. Because the ghost is not actually working. But you can get it to step in the salt though. And it's gonna happen again. Because this ghost is gonna be standing there. I'm gonna wait a little bit. If I place it again, it's probably gonna trigger... Yep, thoughts. It's probably gonna trigger it right away again. Yeah, because it's just... This is where the ghost... We know. We are staring at... An invisible ghost that is not even active. It's just standing there. It's just chilling. And it's like waiting for us to open the door. But we are we don't need no key. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. We found the ghost. Uh this is probably just gonna count for nothing, right? Yeah, it's just you can't actually do this. Like I didn't even bring it through photo cam, so it's not it's not even bad. However, we might be able to find the board. We can get the did we get well we you do place the motion sensor over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna motion sensor this bitch up. We're gonna place that there. I did place this one correctly, right? So it might I doubt it's gonna work. Like I, I think it has to move for it to trigger a motion sensor. Which I don't think this is ghost is actually doing. Like, look at all these. We have a motion sensor. <gasps> no, it worked! <laughs> it actually worked. It worked. We're almost gonna get all objectives <laughs> without the ghost even doing anything. Okay, let's see. We just need... Now we just need the bone. <laughs> this is actually perfect. What the fuck? The bone's right here. 
Who put this? Who put a bone in my house? Who died here? Now we're gonna check for the board. Did I already check in the basement? Not entirely sure. Let's see. Okay, it's not there. There's two more places. I can't believe this actually worked. That is insane. Okay, there's no board there. There's one more spot right over here. And it can clip. Wait, this one is not even locked. Okay, yeah, it's not there. So we don't have a board. That's all right. We got the bone. We actually know exactly where this ghost is. We can't get the ghost photo, sadly. Uh, we somehow got dots. This is all the evidence you can get, by the way. You could I, maybe get freezing temps. Can you? Let's see. What is the temperature here? Dots again. So no, not even cold temps. You can't even get cold. Like this should be, wait, maybe? So it's 10 degrees, right? But the ghost has been here this entire time. I don't think it's lowering the temp of the house before you activate it. No, because here it's even colder and that's just because it's random. So you can't actually get, wow, wait, this is like weirdly cold, but it's just a random variation. You would expect it to be here, but we legitimately know where the ghost is. We know like for a fact that it's standing right there. Um, so yeah, there's just random variation in the in the temperature of the room. So that's actually kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting because I thought that anything like reaching down to three would always be the ghost, but I guess with the new weather system, it might not always be the case. Because I would I would think that if I like didn't know where the ghost was exactly, I would be thinking this is the ghost room right now. But yeah, no, it's actually here. Maybe it's yeah, and here's ten degrees. That's so weird. But standing right there, we know that. Uh, so yeah, we got dots, ghost orbs, spirit box, all of these you can get by just having either a spirit box active. Let's see, we can still see the orbs, right? Yep, there was an orb, wasn't it? Let's turn off the lights so the spirit box can work. <laughs> there's the dots. We even know what ghost model this is. This is the bubble face ghost model. And there's the orbs, there was the dots, and now for the pièce de résistance. Talk to us. Do it. Indiriano, thank you for the nine months. Um, and there we go. Death. What a beautiful, beautiful end. I can't believe we got the ac absolute perfect ghost for this stupid little challenge that I wanted to show you off. So yeah, uh, they're probably going to fix this, especially now that it is going to be known. Uh, but if you want to hang out in Tanglewood for a little bit, look for some orbs, chill with your buddies in Tanglewood without the ghost doing anything, then this is your way to do it. I think we are going to uh, leave this house now. Uh, I'm going to do that as fast as humanly possible. I'm going to run out, close the door, and leave right away. Because I want to see what the stats are going to be. Okay? I'm doing some... Okay, let's see. Alright. CJ, I, I'm in the house without the key, by the way. Just don't don't look, don't look. Alright, we're going to speedrun. Go! 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 Okay, let's see. What are the stats gonna be? That's why I brought the key, because otherwise we would have had to leave, but you could have done this all without the key. You could have done all of that without the key. There you go. It was actually a yokai. We made 165 by just going home. <laughs> going home. We did almost all objectives. Uh, let's see what the, what the stats are gonna be like. This should be ridiculous. <laughs> Total time investigating 16 seconds. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and that's why this is the stupidest challenge. Not 60 seconds. You beat that. You beat that. <laughs> beat that speed run. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed that, uh, like, little spiritual successor of the no enter the house challenge if you want to watch that video i'll link it in the top right or i have linked it in the top right that other video is one of my most watched videos of all time it is uh yeah i i, I just thought i had to show this off this is so stupid i can't believe we actually found ourselves a ghost that worked perfectly for this so thank you very much yokai and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike this like it if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was so good. What the fuck?